ClickUp has a brand new feature called Whiteboard, and that's what we're going to be covering in today's video. If you're unfamiliar, ClickUp is a project and management tool. It helps you keep track of all of the tasks that you need to do in your business. However, ClickUp has a few more features beyond that, and one of those is called Whiteboards. So instead of having your task listed out or organized in a board format or a calendar format, a whiteboard allows you to gather in your ideas in a free form. Sort of like a collage where you can layer different objects, you can connect them, you can add different types of media, whether that's text or images or links all in one place. Now, how might this be useful? Well, this could be particularly useful for gathering ideas, whether that's for social media content creation or for blog post ideas, or if you are a designer and you want to create a mood board or start gathering ideas for your clients. This is where you can add a bunch of different links, a bunch of different color palettes, and visually lay out how things would look. So you can see how that there are many different uses for whiteboards. Now, before I show you how to create these, I first want you to go over pricing for ClickUp. So if you're finding that you're unable to create any more whiteboards, it's probably because you need to upgrade your ClickUp plan. So let's just go over this really quickly. So in ClickUp's free plan, you have access to create three different whiteboards and in the unlimited plan, which is the lowest paid plan, allows you to create 10 whiteboards. And then anything higher than that allows you to create unlimited whiteboards. So if you are unable to create additional whiteboards, it's probably time to upgrade your plan. Now let me show you how to create a whiteboard. So you can create a whiteboard at any level in the hierarchy. You can create it at the everything level, the space level, the folder level, or the list level. So you first need to decide where you want to put your whiteboard. And I'm going to do this at the list levels. I have a list for Dolly Parton's project. I always like to use Dolly Parton as my example, celebrity client. And I have a list here of all the tasks I need to do for Dolly. Now let's say I need to gather some ideas for the design project I'm doing for Dolly. I can create a whiteboard for that. So I'm, I'm first going to go into the list for Dolly. And at the top here, I'm going to scroll to where it says plus view. And then I'll select whiteboard. And I can pin the view. I'll show you what this means. I'll show you what this means in a second. So select add view. When you create a new whiteboard, click up. It's going to prompt you whether to use a template that they've created. These are really excellent way to get started. Or you can start from scratch here at the bottom. Okay, now the pin icon will appear at the top here. Once these are pinned, this means you can rearrange the different views that you have. If they're not pinned, you can't rearrange them. So if you need to go back and change this, you can click the a little ellipses icon when you hover over it and then unpin or pin depending on what you need. Okay, so your whiteboard in this example is going to start out blank and then you'll have all of these features here on the left side. Notice that there is a click up feature. This actually allows you to pull in tasks from other areas in your hierarchy. So you can select this and then you can select the task that you want to add to the whiteboard. You can move this, you can move this around how you want. You can also use the search bar to look for a specific task, or you can select browse tasks here. This will allow you to move through different spaces and different folders. And, and, and if you want to go to a different space, you can see the space name here, select the carrot icon, and then flip through your different spaces. Now, eventually ClickUp is going to allow you to pull an entire list and other ClickUp docs. But you can see when I hover over this, it says coming soon. So be patient if that feature is not there yet. Okay, so you can add different tasks here if you want. You can also draw and then you can choose how big you want the pen width to be and the different color you want to use. Let's just choose yellow and we'll just start drawing. You can also choose the shapes if you want to do some shapes. And you can change 
the color of the shapes if you want. You could also write on the shapes and you can see here if it says type slash for command. So if I hit the black slash, I can now add different formatting. So I can add checklists, dividers, bullet points, and just scroll through here and add a bunch of different formatting options. Okay, so another option is to add a sticky notes. So you can also add a sticky note and it's going to be formatted like a post-it. So we'll just type in some text here. You can also freely add text anywhere you want. And you can see here that these two objects are on top of each other if you want to change the positioning of these you can hover on this one click it and then where the ellipse icon is you can select to bring it forward send it backwards you can change the positioning of all of this okay you can also speed up your process by hovering over the circle or the object and then selecting the plus or icon in whichever direction you want to go in. So this will automatically connect the objects for you and make it really quick for you to set up. Okay, then there's an option where you can add a mind map. And you might be thinking, what's the difference? What's the difference between a mind map and a whiteboard? Because ClickUp has a mind map option as well. And a mind map is just automatically going to build out the structure for you like a tree. So if I select this here, I can start typing in a the text. I can say thing one and then it just by hitting enter it will allow me to create a thing two. And then it will create a node just by just below that. You can also create a mind map view within uh, instead of creating a whiteboard, but again this is going to be structured like a tree. So if you want something free flowing Create a whiteboard instead. You can always add a mime up to a whiteboard if you want. Where you see the magic one, you create whiteboard templates or pull them in. The global icon allows you to add a website card. So instead of just having a, a link that you have to click open, you can make it look a little bit nicer by adding a website card. And this is what it will look like. So you can see it here. So it's a little bit nicer looking than just adding a website link here. So if, if I were to add a website link, I would do, it will look like this. So you can see that that looks different than this. And then if you want, you can add different, you can add images. Okay, so this will allow you to pull in images from other websites or from your computer and so on. And then the next thing I want to show you is how you can adjust this. So you'll see that there's a little arrow icon here. If you select that, it will allow you to move this entire page when you see the hand icon. If you change it so that it's the arrow icon, it will allow you to highlight things within the page, okay? Then over here on the right corner, you can set, so you can select fit the screen, it will zoom out. You can also select the eye icon in order to memorize some keyboard shortcuts. So if you want to create these different shapes or connecting tools more quickly, you can do that. Okay, so that is how you use ClickUp Whiteboard. I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.